Welcome to The Boiling Point. I am Richie Ware and this is Gerald Blaine. Uh, Gerald handles a lot of our project sales and uh, service division. Actually, he's over the, the project sales and service division. But Gerald, there's uh, a lot of different terms that are thrown out there. You got fire tube, you got water tube. We're going to be talking about a water tube, but it's actually a flex tube. Right. Um, and so the term flex tube is really what we want to concentrate on. Uh, we like to talk about products every once in a while. And uh, Unilux is something that we're going to chat a little bit about. But Let's talk about what it actually is. Tell us a little bit about the flex tube and what that is. Well, the design, like you said, it is a water tube, but unlike, say, other types of uh, industrial water tubes that might come straight from the drum down to the second drum, we have a, a, a bend and so forth in here. Uh -huh. And because of that, uh, that gives it the ability to flex under rapidly changing conditions. Okay. Uh, for example, this, this can take uh, a cold water shock where a more rigid design would actually break. Okay. So these actually have a, like a 25 year warranty on thermal shock. Huh, okay. So, so you don't have to worry about big changes in the delta T of if this is in a heating application and you've got hot water going out and a much cooler water coming back, uh, say fire tube an example, might only be able to take a 20 degree differential where this could take a much higher hit. Okay. Uh, same thing on a cold startup. Mm -hmm. Uh, you can start this up really quickly. Mm -hmm. uh, because of that, uh, other units, you'd have to do a warming cycle and make sure you get them up and hot before you take off. Right, right. The, um, tell, maybe just tell a little bit about some of the applications of why you would actually choose this um, over the fire tube, water tube. Yeah, well, like in the case of a fire tube, uh, that, those applications truly are, you don't turn them off very often. Mm -hmm. They don't like to cool down. Most people don't warm them up properly. Mm -hmm. So a lot of applications that I'll put these in, uh, not that they're not good in the same other applications, mm -hmm. but uh, if you need to ramp up quickly and you're going to turn it off often, mm -hmm. lots of cycling, these are just really durable. Mm -hmm. uh, but not unlike any other piece of equipment, water quality is critical. Mm -hmm. You've got to make sure you take care of your water because we have a lot more bending. Right. Uh, and it can create deposits if you don't keep up with it. Mm -hmm. um, but you'll find these in a lot of really big hot water and heating applications. Mm. Not that they can't be put into processes. I have put them into some distilleries, uh, mainly because this, those distilleries are doing start and stop. Mm -hmm. They don't have 24-hour production. Uh, and then this is a good, a very good choice for that scenario. What type of uh, pressures um, do you have in something like this? Um, the standard design is 160 pounds, <clears throat> but they can go up to 500 Okay. Uh, because they are water tubes. So right. a fire tube's going to be have some limitations on some of the higher pressure levels. They're sure. going to be typically under 300. Right. Uh, so you get lots of different applications in that regard. So the boiler itself, I mean, it's typical design. You've got your... Uh... Uh, steam drum, um, and you you know you you you've got it's pretty much the same type of a design as a water tube, correct? It is, it, except for the typical water tube you see wouldn't have. They put their uh, circulation down comers exterior mm -hmm. because of that temperature differential. It allows for a faster circulation. Now, when we have one of these actually in place, we'd have this guarded, okay, because you wouldn't want to be holding on to that. Right, right, uh, right. But the rest of the boiler. Uh, this one in particular, Unilux, has some pretty special features in the sense of this, if you touch it while it's in full operation, it never gets more than 20 degrees above ambient temperature. Hmm. So it, it runs very cool because it's very well insulated. Right. They do a great job with how they do that. They use this air wall as well as the insulating. Mm -hmm. so, so the actual uh, gases as it flows through the boiler, uh, maybe just walk us through that, um, how, how it actually goes through the boiler. And yeah, this design is actually what uh, we call a five pass. Mm -hmm. So it'll circulate through here five different times before okay. it exits. Okay. Um, Unilux invented that. It was patented back in 1981, so mm -hmm. it's been around for quite a while. Mm -hmm. And then they utilize these uh, little baffle plates in here uh, to create additional turbulence and a little bit of back pressure and increase the resonance time. Mm -hmm. uh, like we were talking before, uh, if, you, if you're not familiar with this, and for whatever reason, something had happened to tubing and it had to be retubed and, and the service company didn't put these back in, right. the stack temperature would go up and the customer would notice it immediately. Mm. So mm. They're, they're not for show. Right. They're, they're, they actually serve a purpose 
creating better heat transfer. I think it is good to maybe just touch on, on that real quick because it's, it's, uh, the question I had was if the air is moving quicker through it, um, you know, why would the actual temperature be hotter? Yeah, I know it sounds counterintuitive, but what is happening when you run through it faster uh, and lower the resonance time, the uh, heat doesn't get the opportunity to transfer through the metal into the water. Okay. And therefore, that, that air temperature is hotter because mm -hmm. it's still carrying the heat. Okay. Uh, where if we slow it down, uh, it actually gets the transfer through the tube into the water and the stack temperature will fall. It would be similar to running a high O2 burner with all these excess airs pushing the heat through the unit. Okay. This just happens to be part of the furnace design. Uh, you still have the same issue with a burner, right? but this is a secondary component to creating that extra resonance time. The actual baffles are. The actual for, baffles for are. For that reason. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, and then this has some also an, another unique feature in that they have these ferrules. Uh -huh. Uh, because this particular uh, company, uh, Unilux, they make a lot of field erected units. Uh -huh. So you can literally buy this package. It'll come in with all the different components. You can build a unit uh, without any welding. So these ferrules are designed to be uh, pressure fitted in. Okay. And then they're supported with these other brackets. And you can literally build it with regular hand tools. Mm. So mm. they do all the, all the welding that would be required would happen at the uh, factory. And you do that in places where they built around a boiler, mm -hmm. can't get any, you can cut it up and get it out, but you can't get another one back in. So mm. th these are used a lot in those applications as well. In, in a Unilux, um, obviously on a water tubes, the, the footprint, pretty good size. Um, are these comparable or are they always gonna be a little small? These are typically, based on the way they're engineered, are narrower, okay. a little longer, and sometimes a little taller. Okay. Uh, but they're always narrower. All right. So Cool. Yep. All right. Well, great information, and we will see you next time on The Boiling Point. Well, appreciate Gerald hanging out with us today and talking a little bit about the flex tube water tube boiler. Now, make sure that you uh, come and see us at ASHRAE January the 22nd, 23rd, and 24th. Again, we got our cool t-shirt. You gotta stop by the booth to get that. We'd love to see you. And then also uh, sign up for Boiler 2024 that's coming up, the American Boiler Manufacturers Association, Boiler 2024, May 1st, 2nd, and 3rd in Denver, Colorado. We would love to see you there. All things boiler um, is there. So you have an awesome day, and we'll see you next time on The Boiling Point.